Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and hello welcome back to our topic so uh, we are going to uh, discuss uh, another method to find root of equation so we have second method ya jadi kita punya metode second and now let's take a look what second method is so Metan second is a combination, yeah, so we have combination between uh, Newton methods and also regular Fresi methods. And also we don't have to find the value of function fx and xn, yeah, so we don't have to use this. Yeah, so this will be uh, advantageful since not all equation uh, has uh, function that easily to be uh, to be uh, differentiate ya jadi tidak semua fungsi ya itu mudah untuk diturunkan ya sehingga dengan menggunakan metode desakan uh, kita bisa menghindari adanya operasi penurunan ya Okay, now let's take a look on the flow chart. Okay, so we can go directly to this page. Okay. Okay, this is the flow chart of second method. Second method, ya. Ini adalah uh, diagram alir, ya. Diagram pola pikir dalam kita menggunakan metode second, ya. Nah, okay. Now, firstly, we have to decide um, value of two x's. Yeah, we have to find the value of x zero and also x one. Yeah, okay. And the value of this axis are depend on you, so you can just randomly choose. Yeah, x zero and also x one. And after that, we put uh, each of the axes into uh, the function ya jadi sudah ditentukan x0 nya berapa x1 nya berapa nanti langsung di uh, masukkan nilainya masing-masing ya ada fx0 dan fx1 oke okay. and after that uh, we, fa uh, we, we, we we try to find the value of x2 ya by put by putting the x1 minus function of x1 yeah times x1 minus x2 divided function of x1 minus function of x0 yeah or x0 yeah so I think it's easy and then after we found the value of x2 we put it uh, the function so we get the value of f x2 and as usual if the value of fx2 uh, still i mean still uh, bigger than the error then we go to the next iteration by changing the value of x0 with the x1 and also the x1 with the uh, x2 yeah so the the x2 uh, yeah so this will be fx1 and this will be fx2 and this will be x3 and we go to the calculation and after that we get uh, fx3 and if the fx3 is uh, less than the error then the value of the um, root of the equation is the last x yeah it can be x3 it can be x4 5 etc yeah uh, as long as the value of function of the axis is less than or equal to error that it must be the uh, root of the equation ya jadi kalau nilai x nya ya entah x2, 3, 4, 5 ya ketika itu dimasukkan ke fungsinya dan ternyata kok lebih kecil dari errornya ya maka uh, x nya adalah akar daripada uh, persamaan tersebut ya oke okay, now after this we are going to uh, apply uh, the flow chart into uh, into an example but I think I will do it uh, uh, in the next video okay so thanks for your attention see you on the next video